Okay, so it says calculate the values of the lowercase letters. What do I mean? I mean like this alphabet here X, in this one here alphabet A, alphabet B, alphabet C. I'm not talking about the Q, the U, the A, and the D, okay? It's the smaller letters in each of the following diagrams. Okay, let's start over here. Can you see this thing over here is a quadrilateral, okay? There is nothing given to us that this side and this side and this side and this side are equal or parallel. So we can't classify it as a rhombus, parallelogram, kite, trapezium, square, rectangle, okay? It's just one random quadrilateral. Now because it's a quadrilateral, that's the only thing that we know. We know that all the angles in a quad added together gives us 360 degrees. Meaning this plus this plus this plus this gives me 360 degrees this one over here it has the symbol over here what does this mean it means that this is 90 degrees so now we know this plus this plus this plus 90 gives me 100 and 360 let's write that down x plus 25 i'm starting there plus 143 plus 2x plus 90 giving me 360. Reason for this is sum okay, sum of interior angles of the quad. Now once you get this, you can add and subtract and use your calculator. It's now algebra, meaning x plus 2x giving me 3x. Let's work out this. 25 plus 43 plus 90. Oh, it's 143. I'm dividing here by 3, dividing here by 3. X is equal to 34. Are there any more lowercase alphabets in here? No, we just hit the X, so we're done with this question. Let's move on to the next one. This one over here, what type of shape do I have? I can see that this line and this line are parallel to each other, and this line and this line are parallel to each other, making this a parallelogram. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing I notice over here, because of the parallel lines, is a U. Okay, or the C. This plus this must give us 180 degrees because that's what co-interior angles means. So let's write that down. 180 degrees. Reason. co angles. And we're going to write down which line is parallel to which. So it's AB parallel to DC. Okay, let's walk this out. Ah, why am I working that out? We know this is 115 degrees. Once you work it out, we're going to go fill it in. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to walk through a U, but from this side here. This one plus this one must add up again to 180 degrees. You can do that. Or how do we know about opposite angles of a parallelogram? Aren't they equal to each other? So you can write that down whichever way you want to. I'm going to write that down so you guys become familiar with it. This means this is 115, so this here is also 115. So C is equal to 115. Opposite angles of a parallelogram okay and the 
this one here is opposite that one so P and we are done with this question we figured out a we figured out b we figured out c right if you didn't see that opposite angles have got uh, equal you could have done a u this way i know i highlighted it in green so 65 plus c gives me 180 and then 180 minus 65 gives me 115 and i'm continuing with the next question right this one over here can you see we need to look for x we need to look for w and we need to look for oh no just x and w they told us that the shape over here has two sides next to each other equal and two sides next to each other equal if that's the case that means this is a guide that's what it is right it doesn't look like a guide but it's a guide right so if it's a kite don't we know that this angle is equal to this angle because opposite angles of a kite are equal and we also know that this angle equals to this angle because opposite angles of a kite are equal so first we're going to say x y z w y let's just x w x y z i should have done it like that let me rewrite it w x y z is a kite how do we know it's a kite okay then we're gonna say then we're gonna say that w is equal to 100 degrees and that's because opposite angles of a guide equal and we're gonna say x is equal to 78 degrees opposite angles of a guide are equal i'm gonna pause for a bit because students are moving from class to class and then i'm gonna continue with the next one okay grade nine sorry for the interruption let's continue right i'm just gonna repeat what i said over here in case you didn't hear it with the noise w is equal to 100 degrees because they opposite angles of a kite and they equal so opposite angles of a kite equal and x is equal to 78 degrees opposite angles of a kite equal all right next question what do we have over here i see a triangle right um oh i forgot to fill in the side is equal to the side there we go i see a triangle okay i see a 74 degrees can you see that this here says it's equal to this here and therefore this become uh, this triangle adb becomes an isosceles triangle why because two sides are equal and because two sides are equal it also means that two angles are equal so this angle is equal to this one how did i figure that out see this side it's opposite this angle see this side it's opposite this angle so those two are equal so we're going to first state that this one here is also 74 degrees All right why did i do that i did that so that we can now work oh there's markers don't want to open I did that so that we can work this out. I'm sorry for pausing the video in between so many times. Just stick with me. So that we can work out this triangle. And inside this triangle, we know that it must add up to 180 degrees. And that's going to be able to give us the value of X. So let's write this down. We're going to say D1, that's the name of this angle here is equal to 74 degrees the reason for this don't write isosceles triangle the reason for this is going to be angles opposite equal sides okay and then i'm going to say angle a oh wait let's keep a line angle a plus angle b plus angle D must equal to 180 degrees. You can skip the step and just jump straight to, to this here by saying X plus 74 plus 74. You can jump straight here. The reason for this is sum of 
int angles of a triangle giving me x plus 148 please let me double check yes 148 and then we're taking this over and we're working it out okay are we done no not yet we only figured out x once we figure it out just go fill it in for yourself into your diagram now i need to figure out y and I need to figure out Z. Let's look at this triangle over here. Do you see with me that D2 is also equal to, so this here is also equal to this one over here, right? Can you see that we also have, let's use another color, a straight line over here that got split up into that part, that part, and this part, which means we got angles on a straight line. If I use my angles on a straight line, 68 plus 74 plus D2, I'd be able to figure out what D2 oh, equals 180 degrees. I'd be able to figure out D2. Once I have D2, I'd be able to figure out Y. Once I have Y, I'd be able to figure out Z. So let's do exactly that. I'm going to say 68 plus 74 plus d2 is equal to 180 degrees angles on a straight line okay this here is going to be d2 plus oh that's looking like a b 68 plus 74 Okay, so now we figured out that D2 is 138 degrees. Let's go fill that in. We said already that Y is equal to it, so let's write that down. Y is equal to 38 degrees. Reason for this, angles opposite equal sides. And now, lastly, we're going to be working, let's use a different color. We're going to be working in this triangle over here. Oops. Right, in that triangle, we know the sum of that triangle must be 180 degrees. So this here is 38, 38 plus Z. So let's write that down. Z plus 38 plus 38 equals 180 degrees reason sum okay that means let's say plus 38 plus 38 76 you can skip steps over here i'm just writing out all the steps for whoever needs it can jump straight from this step to this step if you wanted to okay how would you do that on your calculator you just do this it's net positive over here so taking it over it's negative here we go and you can just jump straight from here to here and are we done now did we work out all of the variables that were unknown yes so we can stop let's continue Go. What shape is this? This one is a quadrilateral. That is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. Okay, what else do we know about the parallelogram? This angle is equal to this one and this angle is equal to this one. So we're going to first draw our line. 
okay to separate statement from reason we're going to write down a r m p is a parallelogram how do we know this opposite sides are parallel okay then we already said opposite angles are equal isn't it so we're gonna say p is equal to r opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so p is 3x minus 10 is equal to 2x plus 28 3x bring this over minus 2x is equal to i'm going to leave the 20 there i'm going to bring that over plus 10 3x minus 2x gives me x 20 plus 10 gives me oops 30 are we done did we solve for the lowercase alphabet yes so done easy one let's go to this one over here last one for this video Right. What shape do we have? We have all sides equal, right? Because we don't know if this is a 90 degree or not, we can't say it's a square, we can say it's a possible rhombus. Okay, let me see something. Yeah, it's a possible rhombus. Um, if it's a rhombus, let's first write down R H O M is oh wow they almost named it rhombus also is a rhombus okay how do we know this all sides now that we know it's a rhombus don't we also know that this is parallel to this and this one is parallel to this one if that's the case don't we know that there's a z over here can you see the z meaning this angle is equal to this angle let's fold that in we can say m is equal to 42 degrees right how do we know that oh first i'm going to write down over here r h is parallel to m o and r m is parallel so this idea is parallel to h o how do we know that opposite sides all right i should have skipped the line but just stay with me then we say m is equal to 42 degrees because of a z so alternate angles and then we have to state which lines are parallel it's r h parallel to m o okay let's fill it in we got that this part here is 42 degrees another interesting property of a rhombus is that when you draw a diagonal remember diagonal connects the two vertices it cuts the side and the side in half and it cuts the side and the side in half meaning if this is 42 n is also going to be 42 so we're going to write down n is equal to 42 degrees reason for this is diagonal Bisect, bisect means cut in half, bisect angles, okay? So now I've got that this here is also 42. I need to work out P. Can you see that P is actually in this triangle over here, right? So we're going to say P plus 42 plus 42 must equal to 180 why are we saying 180 because it's sum of angles in a triangle all right so p plus 84 must equal to 180 degrees p is equal to 180 degrees i'm taking this over minus 84 degrees 
E is equal to 96 degrees. Now that we figured out P, we know opposite angles of a rhombus are also equal. So we're going to say P, no, sorry, the sign here is Q, not Q, P. Q is equal to 96 degrees. Opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. Are we done with all of the alphabets? Yes, we are. Just going to fold this in here. This here we said is 96. 96. There we go. All right. I'm going to record one more video with you guys on a few more of these type of questions. Please, I hope that you guys are all practicing and that you wrote down everything that was in this video and that you are going to try out a few questions on your own similar to the ones in this video. Good luck with your studying.